This tutorial shows you how to plot a beautiful box plot with statistical significance in R. These are four main steps of this plotting. In the first step, we load required packages and import data. Then we plot a box plot in the second step. In the third step, we create a compact cluster showing significant differences. Finally, we add the compact cluster to the plot plot. Let's get started. First, we will load the required packages and import the data. We use two packages, ggpath and ggplot2 to plot box plot, and two packages, multicom and multicom view to generate compact letters showing significant differences. The package dplyr is used to create a table showing the compact letters and their Y label values. We run to load them. We now import data and assign a name df for it. The data is the yield of three width genotypes, and it has two variables, genotype and yield. Genotype is a factor variable, so we convert it into a factor variable by using the code s.factor. In the second step, we plot a box plot with the code ggboxplot. Data df is u for this plot. X axis is genotype and Y axis is yield. Color of the box plot is selected based on genotype and the color code is AAAS. Data is used to show all observations. We name the plot fig. We run the code and this is the box plot. Next step, we create a complex letter showing significant differences. We perform ANOVA analysis of yield by genotype and then perform a post-hoc test to get compact letters for significant differences. These are the compact letters for significance. They are arranged from the largest to the smallest. In the following step, we create a table which has significant compact letters and Y label values for the compact letters. We want the compact letters to sit just above the upper whiskers or the third quartile depending on each situation. We need to calculate the mean of yield to arrange yield matching with the compact letters that were arranged from the largest to the lowest. You also need to calculate the third quartile, upper limit to exclude upper outliers and y label values for the compact letters. The y label values are the max value of the max yield, which is less than or equal upper limit, and the third quartile. Why do we use this code? Because the upper whisker of the box plot represents the max value of the data, which is less than or equal to the upper limit. Therefore, there are three cases. The whisker is the max of value of the data if there are no upper outliers. We want the compact letter to sit right on this whisker in this case. When there are upper outliers, the whisker show the max value that is less than or equal to the upper limit. This situation has two types. The whisker is higher than the box or third quartile, and the whisker is shorter than the third quartile. The compact letter should sit right above the whisker for the first time, but right above the box or third quartile for the latter. Therefore, this code perfectly meets all of these cases. We run it and we have the compact letters assigned to the Y label values. The table is named DFSUM. Now we add the compact letters to the box plot we plotted above, which is named FIG. We use geom text and the data is DFSUM that we just created above. X axis is genotype, Y axis is a Y label, and we add a value to increase the height of position for the compact letters. This value selected depend on the range of the data. Label is SIG. You also can set the phone face, phone size, and phone color for the compact letters. We run the code, 
and we see the compact letter sit beautifully on the boxes in the box plot. You can export the plot for the report using ZZSafe. If you want to change the position of the compact letters, you can change its value. If you want to change the phone face, phone color, or phone size of compact letter, you also can do it. This is all for today. Thank you for the watching. See you next time.